Well, good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kyla Scott. Our top story, the month of June will be closing out soon, but awareness for the people that serve us every day is vital. Jeremy Bryant has more details. Thank you, Kyla. It's PTSD Awareness Month. And this condition is not often mentioned when it comes to police officers, but after speaking with ULM Police Department, awareness should be at the forefront for the ones that are asked to protect us. Depression, anxiety, and suicide are just a few of the things that officers deal with while active or after retirement. Police officers put their life on the line every time they suit up for work, and sometimes it goes over look how much of a toll it can have on them. Overtime criminal incidents can play a part in a person's psyche. Law enforcement, like we see in the military, a lot of times over long-term exposure, they can have an effect on mental health issues. Mental wellness is one of the things that is at the first and forefront of all administrators, making sure officers continue to be safe to take care of them, their family, and ultimately the community. Help can come in many ways when dealing with conditions like PTSD. Some agencies incorporate mental health days for officers, but sometimes the best medicine is someone lending a listening ear. Peer support groups are awesome. Nobody knows their job. Nobody really sees what they go through like another officer or another fireman or something like that. Do not suffer in silence. When we respond to these tragedies, we see these things, they live these things. We don't need to keep these things bottled up inside. We also don't need to relive them at the same time. That's one of the things we have to be careful about when we hear therapy or peer counseling or something. We don't want the officers to relive these things. With PTSD Awareness Month coming to a close, mental health doesn't have a stop date. The men and women that serve and protect us are always at risk and should never suffer but receive the help they deserve.